The fight against human trafficking is only one, though, that we can win if the battle goes beyond law enforcement to the eyes, ears, and actions of all Minnesotans. This effort to create a partnership today with Minnesota's trucking community is part of our ongoing collective commitment to eradicate sexual exploitation in our communities and to rescue those being trafficked across the state of Minnesota. Often in my travels, a woman would approach me and ask if I was looking for love. After I'd say no, I would think to myself, what a horrible, cunning way to whitewash a sex crime. I felt helpless, not knowing how to help these women who more than likely were being held against their will. When they get those knocks on the cab door, instead of just assuming that that person wants to be there, taking that second look, if there's any evidence of pimp control, if there's a vehicle that drops a, a woman off, come, you know, leaves, come back 20 minutes later, uh, we want that vehicle's identification information to send to law enforcement um, if there's victims, potential victims that have branding or um, are not in control of their own identification, maybe they're not answering for themselves. These are all some of the red flag indicators that members of the trucking industry need to be aware of so that when they see that victim in the truck stop or in the lot that they know exactly what to do and who to call.